everyone, welcome back to Low Nostalgia, the channel where I low dive into all things nostalgic to me and probably to you as well. This is somewhat of a mega haul for me. I feel like it's been a little sporadic with finding like great things recently, but I found some amazing items over the past week and I just had to share them all with you. But before we jump into it, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I post. I realize I've been posting just lots of hauls and I want to do more. I want to bring you guys with me when I'm going to these stores. So I am working on getting my action cam in a way that it's positioned that I can take you guys with me on my trip so you can see all of the things that we thrift, not just the video and nerdy things, but we get all kinds of random things because if you don't know, we do reselling online on eBay and Macari. I just have a problem with getting the body cam to sit right because I have boobs and when I walk, they jiggle. And if I have a camera strapped across my chest, the camera jiggles. So you can't really see a lot until I stop. And if you get motion sickness, I'm sure that would really trigger it. So I'm trying to find like something where I can attach it and take it into stores. So I'm working on it. But also if you guys would like to see all the other stuff that we thrift that I don't include in this kind of stuff, let me know. I am going to include some non video game related stuff. I just think it's like really fun. So we will be sharing that. I'm going to start with just like basic stuff. So one of the first things I already picked up one of these not too long ago, but I actually found another X. Xbox 360 Connect. This one was only six bucks. It may have actually even been half off. We did find two walkthroughs, one for Final Fantasy X, which I did play this when it first came out. It was amazing, but then I did not play Final Fantasy X 2, which wouldn't that be 11? But these were 50 cents each, so we paid a buck, and actually they look pretty, you know, this one maybe has like a little wear right there. I also picked up a bag of silicone Wii cover summer for just like the regular Wiimote summer for the Wii Motion Plus. These are always something that are useful. I've bought Wiimote sometimes I don't have covers so it'd be nice to throw those on for people as well plus the black ones I guess actually do kind of well and they are the motion plus something not game related but I was super excited to find it was actually these little this little R2D2 this is from the Star Wars droid this was an exclusive to Target and I actually I do already own this I have one that's on a much better card and it's actually it's it's hanging on my wall you guys can't see it. it's cut off I couldn't leave this guy behind R2 is one of my favorite Star Wars characters and and this little Star Wars droid series I thought was really fun. So I was like, I can't leave you. And I did manage to pick up a couple games, several being GameCube games, and that was crazy to me. So the first game we picked up was actually a PlayStation 2 game and it is Ratchet Deadlock. I never played this, my husband said it was fun. And then the Amazing Spider-Man for Wii. I also found another Wii Mario Kart and then three GameCube games. I found these at a Salvation Army. Now these Sonic Riders, I don't think the disc looks very good. So. We got Sonic Riders, NBA Street Volume 2, and Madden 08. I would not play the other two games, but however, because they are GameCube games, I surely could not leave these behind. Uh, this actually I was very excited about. And it was funny because I was looking at like the shelves room, the DVDs and everything, and I saw Sonic Riders, and I was like, is that a cartoon, a movie? And I just kind of scrolled down, and I just stared at the GameCube logo for a little bit and was like, that's a GameCube game. Now, moving into my other obsession, oh my god, this... Uh, uh, this got out of hand. The plug and plays. My plug and play purchases for this haul were extremely outlandish and I needed to reel it in a little bit. But I found some fun things. So I did find another one of those Nicktoon plug and plays. I have not tested the last one so I don't know what the games are. However, I did actually just recently test one of these Spongebob plug and plays and <laughs> those games were, they were actually hard. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Then another one, I thought this one looked really cool. It's the Wheel of Fortune plug and play. It has this whole thing like the wheel spins. It's got all these buttons. I'm excited to test this out and see what this game is like. And then there is a world series of poker plug and play, which it's it's cute. It looks like a little poker table. So testing that out. And, and then I also got a pinball plug and play, which I love pinball. Pinball is one of my favorite things. I want a pinball machine so bad. I might keep this if it's really fun and easy to play. Now the big, big plug and play that I got was actually in box. I didn't even notice it. My husband saw it first. And it was this WrestleMania steel cage plug and play. Now this is actually, I believe this is the arcade game that they came out with on Nintendo. I am pumped. It's still in the box. Obviously they took it out to play, but holy crap, I was really excited. But I literally bought five plug and plays this day. I need to reel it in a little bit. And in addition to other addictions that I have in terms of video games, this is like an obsessive thing. It's not even addictive. I'm just 
obsessed. We got some more guitar controllers. Now these ones were very interesting. One was a Wii one that we have a bunch of, but they sell pretty well and it actually had the bag where the Wii moat goes. It's covered in stickers and it's gonna be hell to get those stickers off. Now this Hero Power one we have purchased before. It is a wireless one. However, this one has the dongle attached to it. And when I saw that, it was like angels sung to me because that is what is missing out of every wireless one and it is impossible to find them and even my local store will not sell them to us. I did actually find this Xbox. This is, I believe, it has to be for the original Xbox. This plugs in, it is a red octane. It looks like a hardcore like guitar axe, you know? And my husband didn't want to buy it at first, but I was like, um, if this works, it could go for $80. So it definitely needs a deep clean and I think it had some stickers in some spots where we need to get like that yellowed residue off, but this guitar could do pretty well. Unfortunately, I do not know how to get it tested. I might have to go to my local video game retailer and be like, can you test this for me? Does this work? Then to round off video games, I actually, I didn't see these at first. My husband pointed these out to me. He picked one up and then I looked and saw the other one and they were two PS2 Slims, one in black and one in white. They were marked at $32.95, but I had a discount. So I ended up only paying $20 for each of them. I do not know if they work. They do not come with cords, nothing like that. I never had a PS2 Slim. I have, I have my thick boy. I have had it since it came out. I literally stood in a line at a circuit city for my PlayStation 2 and I will, I will be buried with it. That would be extreme, but that's how devoted I am to that PlayStation 2. I'm never getting rid of that thing. However, having a PS2 Slim in my collection, especially a white one, that'd be pretty cool. So I gotta test these guys out, see if they work. If not, they might be a part situation. I might kind of dabble with trying to get them to work again. I don't know. We'll see. Now into the non-video game stuff, something I am super into is reading. In case you didn't notice, there's a lot of books around me. There's even a whole other two shelves to that direction. I am, I guess you would call it like a bibliophile. I love books. I love reading books, though I don't take enough time to read as much as I used to. However, growing up, my favorite series of books was The Babysitter's Club and Babysitter's Little Sister. Those were some of my favorite books. I loved those. I had all of them. I even met Anna Martin and she autographed a book for me. It was a, it was one of Dawn's books, but I don't remember which one. Unfortunately, I believe we had a flood in our basement when I was growing up. I think our water heater broke is what it was and it ruined all of my babysitter club books. So I had to get rid of those. Well, we were at a thrift store and they had a ton of babysitter club books. I was super excited. These I think are just for me and my personal collection. So I have to, I'm have to make room on one of these shelves somewhere. I might have to just like read some books and then get rid of them. Cause some of these books I have not read, but I'm pumped because I do really love the covers of the babysitter's little sister, like all the checker print and everything. But I loved all of the original artwork. Some of these do look like they were from a library. Cause one's like hardcover that looks like paperback, but they still charge it as a paper bag for me. Now the other really cool thing that we got, I bought two pieces of this. One is already sold. This other one I'm actually going to be posting and that is uranium glass. If you don't know what uranium glass is, it is glass that has decent sized amounts of uranium inside of it. It is not anything that is toxic. I found a set of four plates. Now the cool thing about uranium glass is when you actually shine it under black light, it glows in the dark. It is freaking wild. So my husband and I actually have black light keychains chains on our keys just so we can always check to see if something is uranium glass. After selling those plates, we actually stumbled across this beautiful candy jar that is also uranium glass. If this is more stuff that you're interested in too, let me know. Like I said, in the future, I'm going to be doing more like come along thrifts with us so you can see like all the stuff that we thrift and things like that. But anyway, that is it for today's video, you guys. If you liked this, let me know. Tell me what was one of your favorite things? Was it the uranium glass? Because I mean, I mean, there's a lot of things that I really love in here and I was super excited about those PS2s but like uranium glass always makes me like super high so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you have not already please don't forget to like my channel and subscribe and also check out in my link tree down below it has links to my eBay my Macari uh, also like my main channel if you haven't already it'll, it'll be linked down below too I will see you guys in my next video laters bye